Okay. <clears throat> so, good evening. Okay. <clears throat> so I started answering the first questions. Yes, I started answering the first questions. And so I said I will finish the first question for today for class part. Because Wodi did not take power system last year, so he does not have any last question. Wodi or Kara? <laughs> Yesterday we answered question one and two. Today we'll answer question three and four. Okay. Now I'll start immediately. It's already five minutes past nine. Number three question says list and discuss conventional sources of energy. List and discuss conventional. If you watch, what you have to do is just define what conventional source of energy is. And conventional source of energy, for what we defined before, we know them as non renewable source of energy. They are not clean, they are ground energy. And uh, also, they are used for commercial and industrial purposes. And they are not environmental friendly. All these things, you just talk about it. Then, to list the conventional source of energy we have, we have uh, oil and gas, we have uh, coal, we have wood, and all other nuclear energy and so on. They are all conventional sources of energy. Now, the next thing they say here is discuss, list and discuss non conventional sources of energy. Same with the other one, non conventional source of energy. We define it as a renewable energy, they are clean, they are used mainly for house purposes, they are environmental friendly, and any other thing you want to describe them as, okay? They are renewable in such a way that they can replenish themselves after, with the rate of, um, the rate of consumption and the rate of at which they replenish themselves are the same, okay? Unlike non uh, unlike conventional sources of energy. So today, um, the next part, the next question there is what are the differences between conventional and non-conventional sources of energy? I did that in the, I think that was my second class I took, I did the differences. So if I want to draw, if I want to get the differences, I will say number one, a difference between Conventional and non-conventional sources of energy is that one. Conventional sources of energy are also known as non-renewable sources, sources of energy. Why non-conventional are known as renewable? Two, conventional are used for industrial and commercial purposes. Why non-conventional are used for household purposes? Three, conventional sources of energy are, are, are not a are not environmentally friendly. That is, they're not eco-friendly, okay? Why non-conventional? They are eco-friendly. They don't cause any form of pollution. Then you can use examples to differentiate them. You mentioned the examples of conventional, which is coal, oil, and gas, petroleum, nuclear energy, wood. You mentioned them. And then for non-conventional, solar, wind, tidal, hydro, uh, um, geothermal and biomass, biogas, all of them. So I think this is for question three, we are done. The next one is saying a base load station having a capacity of 400 MV. Now this is calculation part. A base load station having capacity. So let's say base load capacity. 
you go up to what four thousand MV, okay, not MV, M megawatts. So if this new station is having that, okay, then they say that I don't know that. Let me zoom this a little bit so we get to see it better. Okay, so. Here it says a base load station having a capacity of 400 megawatts and a standby station having a capacity of 50 megawatts. So the so also the standby station has a capacity of at least 50. So we write it out here as the stand by station capacity as what 50 megawatts. Now they just have something again. They say them they share a common load. I think they are both connected to a, a single bus and find the annual factor and capacity factor of the two power stations from the following from the following data. So now they have to they, have, they also could say that the annual standby annual standby station output equals from here eighty seven eighty seven point three five times ten raised to power six Raised to power six units is in kilowatt hour. Kilowatt hour. Okay. So from here, also we can find some. There's also a lot of something here. From you see where my cursor is. They say annual base load station output. Annual, this one is for the standby station. Now for the load station, the annual load station. Output is equal to, for me, it equals the, as 101. 101.1 times 10 raised to power my raised to power six kilowatt hour. Now another thing again given to us is that <clears throat> the peak load of standby station is giving us 120 MV. So peak load. Load at stand by station is equal to 120 megawatts. And uh, the hours you hours of use by standby station per year is given as three thousand hours. So the you know the We say the hours of use by standby station. Hours of use by standby station is equal to 3,000 hours. Okay. Now they said. 
that we should find the annual factor and capacity factor. So those are the two things we're looking for. The annual factor and capacity factor. Okay. So annual factor and capacity factor. These are what we are looking for. Okay. Let me get a clear picture for my phone. Now, for annual, this is supposed to be the annual load factor, though it's not very clear. So this is annual load factor and the capacity factor. The formula for annual load factor is megawatt hour supplied per annum divided by divided by maximum generated capacity maximum generated capacity times hours, times the hours of working in a year. A year multiplied by 100, 100. So, from the annual load factor, they ask us to find the annual load factor of both the standby station and the load station. Now, the first thing we we'll ask ourselves is, we we'll ask ourselves if, do we have the megawatt supplied per annum? Yes, we have, but our own here is in kilowatt hour. Then the maximum, sorry, this is maximum. The maximum generated capacity, do we know that? Yes, maximum generated capacity is this year. And for the load, base load, we have 400. And for the standby station, we have 50. Now the hours of working in a year, how do we calculate it? Hours of working in a year. They are giving us the hours of working in a year already here as I think that is 3,000 hours. So we use that value. They won't give it to us 3,000 hours. Okay. So we already have it here as 3,000 hours. So I think we have everything we need to calculate. We have all the values here. So let's say annual load factor for, let me copy this, I'm not stressing myself. Copy this and then I paste it here. But now it's not the annual load factor, it's the annual load factor for base load because okay. the access of for both the base load and for the for the standby station so for the base load now and but there's something here they did not give us they did not give us the no the hour of working if I year for the base load so what do we do we calculate it by ourselves we assume that it uses three, how many, how many um, days do we have in a year? We have 365 and how many hours do we have in a day? We have 24. So you to get the hours, you do 24 times 365. That should give you one eight something. I'll use our calculator now. 
Follow me, please. I'm trying to. Okay. I think I should look for it here on my system instead. My phone, I can't really find what I'm looking for. So I'll use, let me use this instead. Okay. It's still not here. Okay, I've seen it. Now this is a question. I think it's clear here. Yes, very clear. It's clear here. Okay, so from here, you can see that the base station has a capacity of 400 megawatts, and then the standby station having a capacity of 50 mega, megawatts, not mega kilowatts, megawatts. And they share a common load. They say we should find the annual load factor and capacity factor of the two power stations. So the annual standby station output is this for the base load is this for and the peak load on standby station is 120 the hours of use by standby station by 300 so the installed capacity is this value they gave us here so let me call this installed capacity installed standby station capacity and uh, here yeah. call it installed base load capacity okay so to find for the standby station as i said earlier this is the formula so since we are dealing with kilo we do kilowatt uh, supply panel divided by the maximum Generated capacity times the number of hours of working. So from here, the kilowatt supply panel for standby station is this value we have here. Okay. The maximum generated is the, the maximum generated or the maximum demand is this value given to us here for the standby station as 120. And then the hours of working in a year, they told us is what? 3,000. So we just put in our values. It becomes this value here. Let me just copy it down and save my stress. This value. Yes, divided by the what the maximum demand, right? Or the maximum. Let me see here peak. See it. I told you that the peak. So this is the maximum it can. Okay. 
The maximum one is 120, 120 megawatts. So we do 120 megawatts times the hours of working in total is what, 3,000, 3, right? So 100 times 100, all these things is, all these things to be multiplied by 100. So let's see what our answer will give us. Let me do it like a little. It should give me 87.35 times 10 to the power 6 divided by 120 times 10 to the power 6 times 3,000 multiplied by 100. If you give me 0 0.02. So yeah, you give me 0 0.024. So yeah, you want to get in percentage, the percentage value. I think there is a mistake here. This is not mega, this is kilo. Kilowatt. This is kilo. So here will be 24.6 percent. So this is for the <clears throat> This is for the annual load factor for the standby station. So now to find the same for the to find the annual capacity factor. We have found the annual load factor. Now to find for the capacity factor for the standby station. Now this is for the yes, for the stand. By station, the formula is units generated per annum divided by the plant capacity times hours in a way. So, units generated per annum. Divided by the plant capacity. Times hours of working. So hours in a minute. So from here, the units generated per annum for is the same value here. The annual standby station output is this value. Here. So the same is value we use. Now divided by the land capacity. The standby plant capacity. So 
before the standby plant capacity is this what value 50 mega watt. Okay, times hours of work, which they told us is what? Hours in a year. This one is different from the hours of work in a year. This is just the hours in a year. How do we calculate the hours in a year? That's what I was trying to calculate before. So hours or hours in a year. I'm not seeing your, I'm not seeing. You're not seeing? I'm not seeing your space. I'm not seeing the other side. No, I'm seeing the screens, but it is. I'm just seeing one side of the the notepad. I'm not seeing it completely, so I don't. I'm not seeing the other sides of what you're right. Okay, sorry. Then anyway, you can um, reduce it so I can see the whole. Are you yes. seeing it? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So for hours of work in a year, we have three hundred and sixty-five. Is in a year, you multiply it by you multiply it by the number of hours in a year, which is twenty four. So if you do the two hundred sixty five times twenty four, you have eight seven six. So eight hundred and seven eight eight thousand seven hundred sixty hours in a year. So this is the okay. This is the number of hours we are going to use. Because what from the formula they say, standby plant capacity is okay. hours in a year. So the hours in a year is this, this one we just calculated now. So this is the value we use here. Hours in a year. So you use your calculator and do this. The 8735 times first pass. First class six divided by that value here. Let me see what my answer will be. Seven point three five times ten raised to power six divided by fifty times ten power six times eight seven sixty. Okay, I'll be having one. Okay, let me times 100, all these values we're talking about factor, we'll be multiplying everything by 100. So if I have to multiply my answer by 100 times 100. My answer is, okay. I'm having, oh no, I just deleted what I just did now. I'm doing it again, 87.35. So you? How what? How the 87.35 times here is about six. Mm -hmm. Is it, will you still do times 1,000 for the kilowatt? So, or you just leave it like no, that? No, I removed it, sir. Okay. Okay, what what space? Our, value, to do? our value given to us. Let me check it again from the question. Whether is, I made the error or let me see. Yeah. Uh, Time series per six kilowatt. So let me check it. This is supposed to be kilo. Yes. Kilowatt. And yes, there's a kilo. You still do times per three again. So, okay. so let me do it. I think that's what I omitted. Okay. Times 10 raised to power 3. Then times 10, 50 times 10 raised to power 6. Times 8, 7, 60. Multiplied by 100. Okay, my answer is 19.94. That's what I have here. So, answer is 19.94. This is the answer. Okay, so we have found, the question says we should find the annual load factor for both of the stations. What we just found here now is for the annual load factor for the standby station. And what we found here 
the capacity factor for the, the same standby station. But we have not found the annual load factor for the base load station. That's what we're going to find. And still also find the capacity factor for the same base load station. So now for the base load station, let me see. The base load station, the same formula. So now let me put in my values. The value for the megawatt uh, supply panel for the base load seat is this one. So we use this value. Okay, this value divided by the maximum. This is the maximum generated load capacity. The maximum generated capacity was not given to us here. The load told us for the peak load as standby. But since both of them, are, if you look at the question, see what they said here. They said that both of them are they share a common load, right? So for them to start, they share the common load. That means that both of them have the same maximum peak load. So from here, we still use the same value, this is the same 120 megawatts. You use this here as the maximum for the base load. Then from here, they say times hours of working in a year, times hour of working in a year for this, for the base load. Let me check whether they give us the hours of working in a year for base load. No, they only talk about the hours of use by the standby station per year is three times. The hour for this one was not given to us. So we assume that it is for the complete 24 hours. That is for 24 hours, we are using this base load station. But for the standby station, we only use it for 3,000. And so we use this value here, this 8760 as the number of hours for the base load station times this value. Remember, multiply by 100. So we multiply it by 100. If you do this, what will you, let me do the calculation. So what I'll get 101.1 .1 times 10 raised to power 6 times 10 raised to power 3. 120 times 10 raised to power 6. Right? Yes. Times 8760 multiplied by 100. Okay. I'll be having my value as 9.62%. By the way, this is in percentage. Okay. So here is 9.62%. So this is the percent we use from the annual load factor in a year. But for the standby station, sorry, for the annual load factor for the base station is 9.62, but for the standby station is 24.26%. Okay. Now the next thing we need to find is the capacity, the capacity factor for the base load station. Since we have found, this one we found here, is for the standby station. We will not find for the base load station. So let's find for the base load station with the same formula. Let me copy this formula. Stop writing it again. Okay. I copy it and I paste it here. Now, with the same formula, let me just change this from standby to base load. Since we are dealing with base load station, we have to be little 900. This is what I want to change. Based on standby station, we're now right base load station. Okay. Now, from here, the formula says units of generation, units generated per annum. The unit generated for, per annum, see, annual loads. To, is this value here? So is this value we use? This is the amount that every year that station produces. So this is what we use. We paste it. And the next thing says divided by the standby plant capacity. 
is by not stand by since we are dealing with base load, so it's base load plant capacity. Now, so base load plant capacity from here, if you check up here, it was given to us it. The capacity is 400 for base load. So is that 400 we're going to use now? Okay, so this is what I will use, this value here, 400 for this place. Yeah, I just paste it down here. Now, the next thing they say they give is times what? The hours of working in a year. The hours of working in a year is this value that we've solved here. It's 760 hours. So I just copy it and I paste it down here. Now, this is the value due times what 100. All this is you, you multiply everything here by 100. Okay, the same thing that happened here. So, although I did not indicate that, I think it's best I do that. Let me show what I did here. I multiplied everything here with, by 100. Okay. Not, yeah. So if you do this, so have you done this one now? This one that is on the I just finished writing. Yes. No, you, what did you get as your answer? Two point eight eight five. Two point eight eight five. Let me let me do it with you. Yes, two. Point eight eight. We can approximate it to two point eight eight nine. So two point eight nine eight nine percent. We have found everything we need. We have found the annual load factor for the base load, and we have found the capacity factor for the base load. We have found the annual load factor for the standby station, and also the capacity factor for the standby station. I think that is the question well answered. We have done that. The next thing they say we should do the, let me enlarge this. Let me see, they say the next, the II says a generating station has a maximum demand of this. I mean, this is another question. Let me answer this, call it II now. Okay. Um, what am I doing here? So they told us that the maximum demand for this station, this generating station is 500 megawatts. So maximum demand. Is equal to 500 mega, is it megawatts? Yes. Next thing they said again, the annual load factor is, ah, this is so bad, I cannot see it all. Let me check that I have the question on my phone, on my system, so. Mm. Okay, yes, it's here. A generating station has a maximum demand of 500 megawatt, and annual load factor is 50%. So, annual load factor, sorry. Annual load factor. is 50%, 50%, okay. Now, another thing again, they say that and the capacity factor is 40%. So apart from the analog factor, capacity factor is 40%. And that's making they said find the reserve capacity of the plant. Find the reserve capacity of the plant. What is the formula for the reserve capacity? Let me write it out here. Formula for reserve capacity is plant capacity minus maximum demand. So reserve capacity is equal to plant capacity. Minus 
Maximum demand. Maximum demand. Okay. Let me see. Do we have the maximum demand here? The plant capacity is what we need to find out. There's a formula we can use to find the plant capacity. Because remember that your capacity factor from here, see the formula, has the unit generated panel, then the plant capacity types as me. So if you make this one set of the formula, I think we can find the plant capacity from this formula. Let me copy this formula and see. Since we have this and this copy and paste. Okay, so let me just remove this base load and just use plant capacity now. So if you want to make this one so that of the form, now how do we do that? Remember, this one is the denominator of this. So if we take this over here, it will be this place here, like this. Here, will come down. And the one that is down, yes, which is this plant capacity, will now go. So I'm trying to make it yeah. the solid of the formula. I'm supposed to cut it. Let's see some spots. I think this one supposed to cut it. So this will go out, and then we have our plant capacity equals to unit generated per annum divided by the capacity factor of the station. Let me not say for this, but let me just see they were not doing this video of station. K times hours of working in a year, all this multiplied by 100. Now, we ask ourselves, do we have the unit generated panel? No, we don't have. But we have the capacity factor given to us as 40. The hours of working in a year, we can get that one always as that value we had there, 8750. Yeah. yeah, but there's a formula again that we can use to find the energy generated per annum. The formula is maximum demand times load factor times I of working in. How did that formula come about? I think is it, and now we are doing it from here. You know, see this place. Let me copy this other formula, load factor from here. I make the other this maximum, whatever. Let me do it before I'm talking too much. Can copy it first. This one I is capacity factor. This one is load factor. So copy and paste here. There's a value I want to get from this one that I can, uh -huh. so let me look for the thing that I'm looking for. I think generate, unit generated panel I'm looking for. And we have megawatt hour supply panel. These two values are the same thing. Yeah. So, uh, so if I make this one out of the formula now, it will be this one times this one, right? This down part will multiply this up part. This one is the up part. This annual load yeah. is in the up part. It will multiply this downside. Okay. So this one now will be equal yeah. to no more divided by it will be equal to this upside. Let me copy it out. So megawatt hour will be equal to maximum demand, whatever, whatever, ten times. What was this person that is studying? Times this. So it will be here. Everything multiplied by 100. So you see why I was saying that formula that the formula for that um, whatever generated pattern will be this times this times because what maximum <clears throat> what, what was I making for this one? Maximum yes. okay. So maximum generated capacity times hours of work in a if it is this value I'm putting here. Let me see. I think all these things here. I'm putting, remember, this 100 here is down. See the division sign? I see the division sign. It's down. Yeah. Right? Then if you use this one up, and now this one is up, it's not down. This 100 up is not down. It will not go out to this 100 down yeah. here. And so this one will go out. Oh, I mean, let me not go too far. This 100, that 100 has gone. And this other 100, yes? Am I confusing? Come. 
How wish I can do my How wish I can do my system in a way that the it will show up and down. No, I'm just using this slash. That's why it's looking confusing. See here. I said here like this. Capacity factor of station okay. times hours of working in a year times one hundred is the denominator of right. Yeah. Now what we found was this unit generated per annum. This this value is what we're looking for. And it's this thing for. here that we just found now. Yeah. This whole value down now is this is the formula for unit generated per annum. I think it's megawatt supply per annum. It's setting as unit generated per annum. Oh, this thing. Is it breaking? I said units generated annum. This Wait, thing. Yes, units same. generated annum and this mega watt supply yeah. annum. They are the same. It's the same thing, just English. It still, it still means the so, unit generated per annum. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay, so if I just copy okay. this thing now, eh? Copy it here. Let me cut it out. Yeah. Instead of writing this uh, units generated by now, I put it here. So let me paste it now in this place. Instead of that value now, now use that one we found. Paste it. Are you saying? Now let me remove this one since we are done with it. Now this is where I was talking about. I said this division here. Which let me let me bring it and say it will help you. This will even help us. This division. It's telling us that it's this down. So this one will cancel go out, and the one up, this one is up. Remember, we we'll now move this hundred, right? Yeah. And that thing that will go is this working in a year. Yeah. Let me remove it. Working in a year has gone. Hours of working. Then this hour of working down will also go. Okay. Okay. Let's see what is remaining. Maximum generated capacity times annual load factor. Then I'm going to remove this base load. We're not doing base load. Of station. Okay. Divided by the capacity factor of station. <laughs> See. Now we can find plant capacity using this. Maximum generated capacity times what the annual load factor. With us, we right, the annual load factor is 50%. The capacity factor is 40%. <clears throat> the maximum generated capacity is just like the maximum demand is given as 500 megawatts. So you just multiply this times this. Let me put it here. Equal to Maximum generated capacity is what? 50, 500, sorry, 500. 500. Yes, 500 times Megawatts, okay, times, times the, the what? Annual load factor, annual load factor here is 50. So is that like 0. 0. 0. 0.5? 0. 0.5. Okay. Then divided by the plant capacity, which is 0.4. Okay. Let me see. Five. What did you get as the answer? I got. Six two six two. Do you calculate it? Are you calculating with me? I'm having three six zeros at the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. These six zeros will be converted to mega, right? Yes. Uh -huh. So mega yes. one. Uh -huh. That's why if you see this answer, my method and his method is not the same. I seen it, but that's why it's still the same here. The way he the method he used to solve it and my own method, they are different, but the answer is still the same. So you saw the way I did this one now. I got it from these two formulas. The plant capacity. Yeah, I got it I'm, from. As I've seen it, sir. I, I've seen it, but I still need to like you have to use your, you have to use your book. You see when this one is canceling this one. Make make this stand the plant capacity so that it will be formed like this. This uh 
make it disorder of form, and then make this one, this anomaly, just the English. It's the same thing as this unit genetic anomaly. Any value you get from here. Oh, I can okay. change the but I can change the English to unit supply panel. So it will say that they are the same thing. So or unit generated or any English you want to use. But make you hear unit generated panel, that one is still panel. Generate. Uh -huh. okay. This is better. So if you make this one set to the formula here, I go and put it in this place. Yeah. They make this um, plant capacity so that the formula mm. after repeating that one, you find out that you'll be able to find what plant capacity is because this will cancel out. Are you hearing me? I'm so, here. Okay, so this will cancel out, and then you find out that this final final formula I got here plant capacity to be maximum generated capacity times annual load factor divided by the capacity factor. And if you put the values, you have 625 megawatt. And that is exactly what you do, although its own method is different. So now we cannot find our reserve capacity. All these things we are just solving is so that we can be able to find the reserve capacity. Reserve capacity is plant capacity minus maximum demand. And the plant capacity we have yes. here. So my, that is equal to 625 minus 500. Since they are both in mega, mega, that I say I'm not putting in mega. This one is a mega, this one is a mega. Yeah. So this, to... this okay, plant of us minus maximum divided is our capacity. The answer will be one to five. One to five megawatts. Yeah. And let me check his answer. It's one to five. Maximum I see it. Demand is equal to maximum demand. Yes. Sorry. I see. So we have solved that question. We are done. Maximum demand. Is... Yeah. Maximum demand, yes. Is this 500 now? See it here. Maximum demand uh, yeah, is, is the same thing as maximum generated. Uh, yes, yes, yes. This is the, the one that you, the, the, what your, what your, um, the plants can give out, what they are demanding from it now. So this is the maximum generated okay. capacity okay. Yes, from the plant. Okay. Is still the maximum demand is English. I don't know the thing so <laughs> it's to <still> change. <laughs> but if you know what you're... Uh, okay, okay. The greatest capacity and demand. Are you hearing me? Yes, I'm hearing. Okay. The at the same. Capacity. Yeah, at the same. You put this value here as your um, maximum generated capacity or maximum demand. Then divide times it by your load factor, which is 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.5. You have this minus it from the maximum demand, which is 500. You have one to five, and then this is the reserve capacity. Reserve capacity is just like a uh, I, am, I, I use that example once. I said, if I have a full bucket of water, but what you're requiring for me is just a cup. If I remove that cup of water from the full bucket of water, that one that is still remaining, that is the reserve capacity. Why the plant capacity is the full bucket of water. And the maximum demand is the one cup of water you collected from. Yes. By, so that is how it works. Wash your mouth. <laughs> Uh, uh, so you have been able to answer two questions, Swabi. Uh, is it not true? Let me check it. Yeah. Why I brought out this video? Because this other one was blurry. The past question is blurry. The, we have answered question three. Oh, what this is we have answered is question three. We have not answered question four. <laughs> uh, question four says, uh, what are the advantages of conventional energy sources? Mm -hmm. Let me mention two. The max I want to move to two max, two max. Advantages one for conventional is that it provides, it provides a, it's a source of revenue for the country since they are used for industrial purposes. Source of revenue. Another thing is that, yeah. um, we should have an um, advantage for anything. I don't really know much for conventional. They have more disadvantage than advantage. Okay. Yes, 
they, they can produce, they can produce, they can produce um, high, high voltage and high power. I think they can produce high voltage and high power conventional for all this industrialization. Well, okay, they generate more power. Is that what you're saying? More energy, yeah. they generate more energy. Okay, it's, it's true because if you watch our grid, the ones that give higher power is from the not from the conventional energy sources. So now the next they say limitations of conventional energy sources is the same thing as the disadvantages. When it, 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 it does not replenish itself as it's being consumed, and that is a very big problem. Since it cannot replenish itself, it gets yeah. exhausted easily. Mm. And then the pollution aspect, it, it, it generates a lot of solutions. And another thing again, uh, you say what are the advantages yes. of more conventional uh, Those ones are plenty. It, it can replenish itself as it's being consumed. That means it's abundant, it's clean, it's environmental uh, friendly, uh, yes. And yeah. uh, it can be accessed yeah. anytime, anywhere. Yeah. It's free. So and the limitations is that. Yeah. Um, yes. Limitation is that some areas. Do you, it changes the let's say what do they call it? Mm, yeah. Is the word I'm looking for? The amount or hmm, it changes with location. Some places like there are some places in Nigeria that we get much sunlight from, and some places that lesser sunlight. Yeah. So that is a problem. So I'm sensing with wind. There are yeah. some areas in Nigeria that gets higher wind flow or. And there are some places that location. the, the flow rate is really low. Uh -huh. And that is, I think that is an advantage. That is a disadvantage. That's an advantage for conventional. Yes, that's an advantage for conventional. That's an advantage for conventional because, yes. It's the same, the amount is same. OK, no, no, no. Conventional, the amount is not same. There are some places that have higher amount of coal. And there are some places that they, they the coal um, amount is lesser. So, okay, okay, okay. What I, what I was saying is why I said that was because maybe I think I said I think that maybe you can just start up a conventional um, like energy generator anywhere. Just you just need the raw material. But mm -hmm. if you want to start up like a non-conventional energy generator somewhere, you now have to go through processes like if you if you want to use like a waterfall. You, there must be that resource. You must have a waterfall. Okay. And hey, I think I just this thing just said now reminded me very costly, non conventional, very costly to start. Yes, it's very expensive. Yes, why yeah. non conventional yeah. is is cheaper to start up, but in the long run, yes. that I have to use that English long run and short run, short run. Sorry, conventional in the long run, it's more expensive, but in the short run, that is where you're starting it up. It is cheaper, but non conventional. Yeah. When you're starting it up, that is the short road, it's very expensive. But in the yes, long run, yes. you find that you save more money. Okay. Yes, it's cheaper to maintain. It's cheaper to maintain. Now, um, here, let me enlarge this one so I see that we are done. The last question, the B part, is a generator station supplied before. Okay, we have done this. One. Okay, I'm not going to. This is another question again. <laughs> another calculation. Okay, they say generating stations supply the following load. Okay, I think I've solved this question before. The following load. So the loads are 150. 150. That means you just add all of them to get the total load. So let me just to save. Let me just say total load is to add all the amounts that each of them are supplying. So 150 plus, the next one is 120 plus 85 plus, let me increase this up system. Okay, 85, 60, the other one is 60, the other one is five. Is there another one again? Five. This thing, I don't know why. And has a maximum demand of 220. So let me add, if you add all this value, what will you have? 150 plus 120 plus 85 plus 
60 plus 5, 420. So 420 megawatt is what this um, station is giving. That is the total amount is given, but it's broken down into 150, 120, 85, and so on. And then it total the maximum demand. is equal to 220 megawatts. So it's 220, not From this question, self, I can also see something. The amount that the, the, this is the amount that this station can produce, 420 in total. But what they are demanding from it is 220. That means there'll be a, a reserve of for how much? That'll be 200, right? 200 extra remain. Yes. Okay. Then the annual load factor, they're giving us the load for annual load factor now. Annual load factor is giving us 48% from here. You see my microsoft is 48%. So 48. 48% is 0.4. Let me write in all this one. 0.48, it should be 48%, right? Then they said again, calculate the number of units supplied annually. Hmm. That is the number, um, yes, maximum yes. generated capacity. <laughs> or, no, no, per annum, units generated per annum. That is number of units supplied annually. I think this is it. So we can copy this formula again. Save ourselves the stress. Make this one so that the formula and then move on. Copy and paste. Let me see how. Then, then see the one wants to make so that the formula needs generated panel. So if I make this so that the formula, this up one here will multiply stand this that part. So here on now, this of division it will become equal to. And what I have here will now multiply. What is down? So let me cut this. So now my unit generated panel will be this value here times the thing I had up before, which I cut. Okay. So now let me see the standby plant capacity. Do we have something like that here? We only have this, maybe it should be this one. Let me check it times the hours of working here, we have this times the capacity factor. Do we have capacity factor? No, we have load factor. So this is not the best formula to use. We use that formula that has load factor. Where is it? Okay. This is the formula we have used, this one. So let me copy this one now. This is the best formula to use. This one has a lot of things we don't have. So we we'll use this one instead. What am I doing here? Pleasant. I hope, I hope, your, notes, hope your notes is very extensive because I still really need to read. Right? <laughs> Which oh, notes? You're laughing. <laughs> you don't have. <laughs> Which notes? Because the way, this, is, this is just, this thing, you know why this is confusing me. It's confusing because it's just writing. It's not like symbols. Okay, no, this one is not. Okay, well, okay. If this is like symbols, no, okay, maybe what to say. Where, okay, G, E, or this kind of I. There is a symbol for it. You understand? Mm. But now there's nothing like that. You see plant capacity, you see, you just <laughs> see writings. <laughs> that seems to fear me too. Easy. I think what I'll do before time is that I will represent each of them with one symbol, then study that symbol in my mind. That should be the best. No? Maximum generated capacity, yeah, right? GC, MGC, maximum that one, AL, yes, exactly. annual load factor. A, a, a capacity factor will be CF. Load factor is LF, all those short, short form. When you're talking about mm. annual load factor, you make big A, LF. We're talking about annual capacity factor, big A, C, F, something like that. So you have to do it that way if it's confusing. I think you have the 
list of all the formulas. This thing I just said, now so that's going to help me because sometimes I even get You stopped. have it. Have you? Ah, the man wrote it on the board that day. What? Now. Was it not this board that copied it on the board? It's confusing me. I think I will arrange that stuff. I'm going to arrange I will not snap it and paste it here Ooh. so you can see. This okay, thing I'm yes. saying now. Mm. So that's the question. Let me see. Mm. Very For me, we have this value. Capacity factor is which we don't have here. But we have the annual load factor here. Maximum demand is here. The only thing is the capacity factor. Let me see if I can find an afternoon that can help us. Annual load factor. Do we have it? Yes, we have it. Then unit generated panel, we have it. Maximum generated capacity. Hello? I, I'm here. I'm not going. I'm just trying to see. I think this should be the this value here. We had for it. It should be this. Units generated per annum. Let us is per annum. Generating station supplies the following. So this should be the maximum generated capacity. Then this one of supply per annum should be this one. Okay, generating station supplies the following. This, this, this. And first of all, we'll clean in this place. The diversity factor, the demand factor. Mm. <laughs> it's not gonna be easy. Oh. <laughs> the demand factor, diversity factor. Diversity factor is the sum of all the going oh, is this listing now 420 divided by the source capacity, but we don't know the capacity yet. Then demand factor will be the maximum demand divided by the connected load. I think we can solve this one. This is a connected load. This is a maximum demand. So we can find demand factor. That is the one we can find now. This is why you're posting. Demand factor. Is it the same hall with me. So if you had, I'll just ask you, what is this thing? What is the reserve capacity? What is I'm afraid I'll, just, I'll remember if too. I don't it's not like that. <laughs> I'll be very, because I just hope, I said, I pray I remember this thing. I just pray. It's not difficult, though. Just, just two, three steps. You're done one step, two mm. steps. Done just to know the formula. It's a calculator, but now you have to just know this. Mm. 220 divided by connected logic is 420. So 220, 420, 0 0.53. Yeah, it's 220 divided by 420. 2.5. Mm. I found my demand factor C. The diversity factor, I just have to find this capacity for me to know the plant capacity. Let me see. Annual energy. Produce actual energy produce. That's the formula I'm saying. Actual energy produce times maximum possible energy that can. So actual energy produced. This one is plant capacity energy. factor, not plant capacity. Energy. 
I'm looking for plant capacity, not plant capacity factor. Capacity factor and non load factor energy. All these formulas are just too much as well. I hate seeing this long, long thing. I have just wondering. This is the only question. I think it's the only question in power system that is. No, I see this how to solve, but the formula is this to discourage me. <laughs> oh, Father, let me look for this and uh, see so that I have it. <laughs> okay. I, see, I prefer see, prefer see, just see the question here, yeah, looking at me. See the question, the answer. Okay, see. They say they found the load factor, which is the number of units. But Wait, wait. Do you mean that this is this example question is the same um, uh, exam question? Okay. Yes, yeah, so it does not change anything. <laughs> this example question. Huh? All the examples we have been doing here is the same thing that will come out in the exam. That means we will go pass and finish now. Yeah, now, if you know what you're doing, that's just the thing. Now. It's not as if it's hard like that. Okay, see what they do. Find this maximum or the number of units of um, generated per annum. Yes. Do. Yes. No, no, I'm listening. I'm listening. No, I'm just saying. Okay. I'm listening. It's just like see the way they made it solid for the number of units supplied annually 0.48, which is the load factor. That is this part here. Yeah. I think this is what they are, this formula is what they are using. That, what do I call this okay. by factor station? Okay, here. This is the formula they are using. So the load factor times the maximum generated capacity. But what they made so that the formula is this part. Yeah. So 0 0.220 is the maximum generated capacity here times 0 0.48. Then times hours of work in a year. Is it this one or the other one they are using? So standby plant capacity times hours of work in the year times the capacity factor. Hmm. Load factor, capacity factor, plant capacity, plant capacity, load factor. Which formula has this load here? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, load factor. Mm -hmm. no, this one is not the one we use. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm looking for the one yeah. that has load factor. Load factor. No, this one, this one is capacity factor. Capacity factor. This one, okay. this one has load factor. No, this one. This is my load factor. <laughs> this kind of conversation is this one. Yeah. As working in a year, maximum demand, kilowatt. Sure. As working, maximum demand. Oh, okay. And my load factor, okay. The annual load factor is equal to this divided by maximum times out. Okay. This is the same thing they use in seat. The load factor, number of units supplied annually, it's same thing as this units generated per annum. It's the same as this per annum, divided by, see, divided by maximum generated capacity. That is the maximum generated capacity times hours of work in a year. Okay. So from here, this is the formula they use, they now made these units generated per annum so that to the formula. I think I've done this thing before. Okay, that's so where I got that when I put up when I made units generated per annum so that to the formula. So I can put it here. Yeah. Got. Yeah, they got it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, 
Oh my goodness. I think I should take it for me. And so I will just say it's working for me. Doing all those pentagram. Let me copy for me instead. Copy. This is your scene, like this is your scene is very useful. Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're just lucky that you grabbed it already. This is very useful. Which thing is very useful, sorry. This this particular um this economic economic aspect of power system. Okay. It's very useful. Very useful for power system planning. True. Okay, so this is what we are looking for, the unit generated power annual. Okay. So if I want to make it so that the formula, this down part will multiply this up part. So this equal to sign will go out. And then I will cut this part. I don't know, it's harder to see when you're doing it. I don't know because maybe the system is showing slash, not division, it will be easier to see what I'm seeing. Hi, my batch is down. Let me try to make it. There's light now. Hey, there's light too. What's going on? Please don't blow my. Wait, wait. Since, wait, since is there no, is there is that is not I don't know to see. Since that you were doing this, that you have taking this class, is that like they're not from a PhD? Or is it just uh, one energy bulb or something? You're not seeing me very well. No, I'm saying see, this one that you're charging your, your computer now. Is it no, as no, no, I don't like charging my like... system when I'm using it. I only use it, I only charge it when it's down. I don't want to overcharge it and spoil the battery. Okay. Yeah. I thought I wonder. Okay. It's still it's still my new baby. I don't want to be messing it up yet. Hmm. Oh boy. Wala for one who got So this is where we are. I've made this solid formula. You need generated panel, maximum generated capacity times hours of working in a year times 100 times the whatever, whatever, whatever. whatever. So we are just put the values. Maximum generated capacity. What is our maximum generated capacity? Is no, 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 no. maximum demand, man. Mm. Abi, as I told you. No, nothing. Teach maximum that. Teach generated me capacity. Listen, maximum demand. Yes. This is it. Okay. So this is the first thing here. Less in times. Why did not come out? So? Times what? Times the hours of working. The hours of working. Which can I do? Eight. Oh, so what can I do? Is that eight, what? Eight, seven, sixty, right? Eight, seven, six, seven. Yeah. Seven, sixty. And what again? Hundred. Yes. That's the annual load factor. The annual load factor is zero point four. So, hundred times minus eight. Times zero point four eight zero point four eight. Yes. So let me see if I calculate it. It's seven sixty times zero point four eight. It's seven sixty times two twenty. Big value. Big value. Eh? Mm -hmm. What do you get? Two two zero times eight seven six two times one hundred times two point four eight. I have nine two five zero five six zero zero. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, let me see where my this is. So this megawatt is here. Two, three. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five, six. Two, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Do you want to make it like three times first six or nine two point five? Nine two point five times first six. Let's not use the mega. Let's keep the mega one side because we we'll write our mega there at the end. So let's just do with this. 220 times it's whatever stuff here times this times this. Okay, let's see. Yeah, very big value. It's still big. It's very big. It's uh, 60 times 220 times 0 0.48 times. Let's do the percentage value. So what you don't want to do with the percentage value. So you put your hundred and deal with this. You have nine nine two five zero five six whatever Abby. If you put two, me, nine two five zero five six. Nine two five zero five six. Okay. Nine nine two. Let's move it to um how many decimal places now? How many decimal places should we move it to? Should we move it to three? Let's move okay. it to three now. 925.05. Kilo meg. <laughs> Let me just say times 10. <laughs> so doing kilo because it's funny. Essence per three mega watts. Yes. So this is it. So for me, the same thing they have here, they only made it to times ten per five. If you do times ten per five here, it will come here. You're going to come to this place. Yeah. Oh, Father, the next thing is that diversity factor. Let me see that my C, demand factor, maximum demand. Yeah, I got this one. See it. 52.4 that is here. You want, okay. to it, you want to do it in percent, you move it now. It's the same thing. Uh, uh, one so, gun. So diversity, <laughs> so diversity factor is diversity factor is total load. Uh, over all, that is all of them maximum demand. Over this answer we got now. Over maximum demand. Yeah. Is that the formula? Let me check it too. for diversity factor. What do you have a book where you have that formula? Diversity factor. No, I'm just looking what he what is written on. Me too. That. I looked at it, but it's different from what I've seen in my book. <laughs> this life is hard, though. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm seeing here is the sum of all consumer. I'm not sure this boy copied something as well. The sum of all consumer maximum demand divided by the stored capacity. Is it sure, man? The sum of all maximum demands of individual. I think the best thing is just to. Station, <laughs> the best thing is just to learn the way they solve their own. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because life is hard. Yes, but so. if you see that that formula, now, everything does, everything yes. has changed. I'm going to use it. Yes. So where am I? Diversity factor. We have found the most diversity. But on that, that first part, the all part is, is the same thing. But I don't know why the demand is not. My one is saying it's not capacity. This one is saying maximum demand. The stock capacity is in the maximum demand. Let me see how it's still different. The stock capacity was 400. That is it at the maximum demand. No. Maximum generated capacity. Maximum generated. Okay, yes. Remember when I told you that my maximum generated capacity is my maximum demand? <laughs> when we use it to solve it. Yes. Okay. Maximum generated okay. capacity is the maximum demand. Yeah. Uh, so that yeah. is the same thing. 
Manzi won the man and the capacity they are the same thing. Now, wow, I've heard English used to confuse somebody. I've done some of these diversity factors since then. We already know our total, the sum of all of them, which is 420, right? We have already added it. Yeah. We just divided by. Uh, is it the same? Of them are the same thing. No, the other one is 220 divided by 420. Okay. Uh, now, wow. So one over the, the demand factor is the diversity factor. Yes. Ha, I'll keep this one in my head. This one, this one already done it on my head. Bless you. <laughs> this one done it on my head now. Okay. So, so I'm having 1.92. Yeah, they're having 1.9, approximately 1.91. So it's the same thing. I think it's the time for the class has ended that we have finished the my mom just reminded me that we have finished everything we need to so this is the end for this class. You want to screenshot anything like Ashley's to screenshots? Let me scroll up for you or scroll down. For she like to answer. I need a screenshot, especially this example on. Wait, let me arrange my phone properly. I need to screenshot like. Mm -hmm. Yes, can shoot. Hey, oh. <laughs> what did I just sorry you wait? You see yeah. blessing. Let me not cry for you. No, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm, I wanted to arrange another place of this screenshot. When you finish them, let me scroll down. Okay. Have it also. Wait, I'm doing all this. Okay, I just did. Uh, then wait, let me scroll. Okay. Yes, yeah, so special this week. You moved again. Okay. And yeah, this is the last part that we just saw. Me. So um, we are done for today. We have finished Okara Sparkle. Tomorrow we enter with this part. Um, I think that should be. What about the other classes? I hope you recorded them. Everything I've recorded. Only you, see, let me show you so you see what I'm saying. I've I've been able to. For me, I'll be able to just reduce the size of just few. I want to reduce the size for all of them, but. It's taking time. Only this one I'll be able to do. Where is it? Which one? Just... Mm -hmm. Zoom. Why is it not? Next up. Okay, sit here. I'm keeping. I don't I just them um, see this. I see one, I see one, two, three. These three videos here. Mm -hmm. This one is like yeah. one seven seven M the very big, still big. Then I reduced it to 75.9, still big. I reduced it, this last one now is 69.9. I'm still gonna reduce it again. They are the same video, it's the only one I've been trying to reduce since. So okay. I tried the one sending it didn't know. I think it should be the first class. Mm. Yeah, I think I, I think I have that one. What mm. about the other one? Like the one you you the one you put did yesterday. I did not yeah, I recorded everything. Just I'm 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 still reducing the size. So I, think okay. I can send it to you too. If I give you the way it is, it's very large. I beg somebody needs to read it. It's a car part. I need to pass it. I designed to have a good read in this course. And yeah, now. Let me not just go there and sit. Let me go into the example and write. 
just pray. Well, have I said anything about like our timetable until now? No, I didn't hear from anybody. Uh, yesterday, yes, which what was yesterday's date? Eight, right? So yeah, 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 I think yeah. If I double click, I'll come back to this one. I heard we have tests tomorrow. Machines, yes. is that true? Machines. I miss them. Hmm. For who now? <laughs> Bless me, where did you? Which part of these are? Where's my background? I use yes. You know. I use virtual <laughs> part. Uh, well, who were who were the participants yesterday? They did not laugh. Really? This is busier in approach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, this this particular one now, uh, the one that you're doing now. Uh, I really want to see those videos. Mm. Thank God. How good do a blessing? And this is your this is your this is your typing. Yeah. Oh, Aisha, we we'll manage. I just see where my cursor mm -hmm. is. Anyway, I'm talking to you. My cursor is in that place. So just watching where my cursor is. The resistance and the doctor. Okay. And very few things is confusing me in this particular course now. That's um, the idea of per unit impedance, per unit this, per unit that is also confusing it, yeah. me. The base voltage, base load, base current, all those things also. See, if they say base, everything you're going to be using there will be base. They say base current. You know that current formula is voltage over resistance, right? Yeah. So if you're, it's, as mentioned, they mention base current, the voltage you use will be base voltage. The resistance you use will be base resistance. And we're not dealing with resistance, we're dealing with impedance. So that's why you see to be. Base voltage over base impedance. Okay. 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 You're going to come to school tomorrow now. I don't know. I'm not coming. Come. Okay. Why? Yes. Why are you not coming? Have you done the assignment? No. I don't even know the question. The question they confuse me, Seth. I don't try, try, try. Not. Have you solved it? I'm B. No, no, I'm, I'm supposed to check online today because the way the question is, is something you have to research, find, search online and find a way to do it. I've searched online, and, I've not seen anything. Is it? I've been searching, I've not seen any. The no. things they're giving me, the one value will be missing. I see that question is not You've not seen it. Oh, I mean, uh, my phone, I've not been. Okay. Base Base impedance, impedance, base voltage. Okay, well now what do you want to base impedance? Okay, so now the so, so this is something. So what about per unit voltage and per unit current? How would you do it? I mentioned everything here, you see it. Okay, 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 okay. How do I get this formula? It's from that formula that power is equal to I. If I make I such as a formula to be power over voltage. So since I'm talking about base, I'm going to do base power over base voltage. Okay. So is it okay? And now formula again is power. You need to pass this one, of course. Do you know this other power formula that says uh, P plus I square R in that? Hello? Mm, please go ahead. Yes, I can hear. Uh, so if I make isolate of the formula, I can still get enough. enough. Oh, this is just me, the normal formula, the normal Ohm's law and normal formula. You have. If they just mention base, everything will be used to be base base. If they mention if you use it to find this point, what I'll be using here will be for this base voltage over finding this Okay. This one is base impedance. This one. Let me see. I need voltage now. I need voltage, travel voltage over the base voltage. 
Okay. Okay. These are the type of things I'm talking about. So hold on. Thanks. Please impedance. Well, where did I get this one from? From the no base book, which is based current and basic book. Mm, yeah. No, I've been having bad sleep. I don't tire, brother. When I do the video, it will get started. No problem. Thank you. No problem. Yeah. Yeah, bye. Good night. Go out and sleep now. <laughs> okay, sir. Let me end with this thing. Good night. <laughs>